Hey guys, and welcome to another Ordinary Men Who Fight Like Heroes podcast. I am Chris Fearing, and these other uh, pungent smells at the table joining me tonight are... Drunks and Dragons, <laughs> Scott, and Aaron Bass. Whew. Farts on one side, farts on the other. <laughs> Here I am, stuck in the middle and going to die. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, okay, you are. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll, 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 I'll pull you card. Oh, no, man, just get in touch with Jewish heritage you never knew you had. What? You get gassed out to death. <laughs> oh, oh man. Man. Holocaust jokes. That was, that was offensive. No, you, don't go get that look. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't sit here and settle racism and then be like, you're offending me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but racism is the perfect lead-in to the topic for today. Oh, joy? Because the topic for the day... <laughs> Is if this causes static, I'm sorry, future Chris. Part two of our explain our inside jokes. Oh, all right, all right. Which one you already explained? We'll start with who cares if we copy them? I don't, I don't fucking care. <laughs> all right, <laughs> um, I know we didn't do this one last time. Where did piss blood initially come from? That is a good piss question. blood. That is a good question. Oh, yeah, with the arm gesture and everything. Yeah. There's an arm gesture. Did we already break this down t- for ourselves and then forgot? Forget? Probably so. Forgotten? Yeah. yeah. Forgot? Forgotten? Forgot. Forget. Forget. For- no, no, no. Forget with an I. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. It's not from It's not from that scene from the Nicolas Cage movie where he's like, Piss Yeah, that's blood. what we were it's, trying to break it down, though. It's before that. It yes. was before that. So when he did that, we, we flipped. Fl- yeah, because we didn't know that that... Was a thing before us. Yeah. Or uh, whatever. We made it up and Nicolas Cage copied us. Yes. Yeah. Piss blood. I can't remember. I honestly can't. I'm, that isn't much of an explanation, I know, but like, I really honestly can't. Yeah, I It's wish, from high school. It has yeah, to be. Yeah, it, it, it was something we said in high school. And. For some reason, it also got the attached piss, blood, arm movement, which for the people who can't see us, it just involves taking an open uh, open hand and putting it to your face. Palm up. Palm up. and Yeah, palm up. Curling the fingers slightly. Next to the side of your face, and then... Like, al- like a like slightly... Like grasping an invisible tumor on your face. Like slightly more acute than a 90 degree angle, and then you bring it down to... Um, what's the opposite of parallel? Perpendicular? Perpendicular to your torso. So, piss blood. Piss blood. You can't see my arm movement, but I'm doing it. Shit. That was from a while ago. Yeah, it was. I was going to say, he, maybe he died was one that we know yeah. the origins of really easily. Yeah, that's when we hit last time. Okay. Because we were talking about doing that in the morning. Um, oh, there's, a, there's another one that's really, really easy. It's um, the blood coming out of vaginas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Period. Yep, because I just I thought it would be funny to say that instead of period. Like, people say, no, we're going to do this, period, became, we're going to do this, blood coming out of vaginas. <laughs> mm. And I'd... then uh, you'd uh, spread it on dough, put cheese on top of it, and make pizza. <laughs> I love your, I love your face. Right there. You're, like, you're like ready to gag. I'm like <laughs> swallowing my vomit <laughs> like a champ. Um... um <laughs> Ooh, wow, we almost time on that one. Uh, uh, that's uh, really bad. No. That, yeah. It, this won't be like the this won't be like the part one of our inside jokes where we harmonized on Sev doing that shit on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, but we have you ended with one. You ended with Shawa. Yeah. What made you start that? Because I know you were the first one to do that. I have no fucking clue. And it went with, like, that weird hand movement. Yeah. There's the Joseph face. The shocked face? Yeah, the, sh- the Joe <laughs> shocked face. He, like, just turned and gave me a shocked face when we were doing the whole, uh... <laughs> we, were, yeah. we were at church. Okay, so me, Chris, and Joseph were at church. Oh, God. This is already very bad. This okay. Is, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm this gonna, is already confusing, isn't it? I'm gonna go get a drink as you tell this story. Okay, so me and Chris and Joseph are at church. Not bursting in the flames, by the way. <laughs> and I know this is you're you're just like, are you serious? But yeah. We're helping Aaron's my cousin. Like, what world have I stumbled into? <laughs> <laughs> what world is this? So we're um, we're at church, and we're helping my cousin do this uh, 
Man, what do you want to call it? I don't want to be like really blunt and be like this Jesus, yo, this Jesus play, but Easter I mean, Jesus play, Easter Jesus resurrection play, play. the resurrection uh, story. So like, we're all behind the scene waiting for like we're rehearsing. We're all standing behind the thing waiting for our turn. I don't even In remember what was. I don't remember <laughs> what was said to Joseph, but he turns to me. And he does like this open mouth O face, like oh, like, <laughs> like, like, like bug eyes. With bug yeah, eyes. You, you, there's also that little hint of like excitement and like I can't believe you just said that. Kind yeah, of. like he turns to me and does that, and then like back to normal, and then like so abruptly, it like just <laughs> had us weak. I think someone had to tell us to be quiet or something. I maybe, but like it didn't matter. It was whatever. I was doubting Thomas. I, I was, was gonna say, I was Peter. I was gonna say for like Neat. other <laughs> <laughs> what <It's> neat. <laughs> they actually put wait. It. Tell me, you guys, is your 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 plot rolls again? I was doubting Thomas. And I and was, he was Peter. Peter. That's cre- I think that's creepily accurate. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? Yeah. I think like holy all right, crap. All right. All right. How so? Let's let's go off on this tangent. Bible studies with Aaron Bass. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, so yeah, I was gonna say how was. I want to know about Chris. Why is Chris Peter? Well, I think Peter was the the one who was always a little bit more like... And the East Pumpkins. He's always like, yeah, let's go do this! I'll cut off this Roman soldier's ear for the Lord, you know? And like, he's a little Where bit... Where was that in the play? He's a little bit more like, you know, let's, you know... <laughs> Let's go. You know, he's crazier a little bit. He's the, he's the, he's the freaking, he's the Mel Gibson of the group. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Wait, wait, is the craziness why I wash Jesus' feet? Uh, well, and why he's the first one to wash my feet? Little, and I'm like, dude, bit, awesome. A little bit. I mean, he, he's, he's that, you know, like... Thanks, I'll, bro. I'll be, the, I'll be the most zealous, you know, that kind of dude. But then also the most, like, not, like, just, like... Falls away because of that, you know, because he 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 did believe so much, and then when he, when his belief was crashed, you know, he was like, oh. he was lost. He was lost. I was gonna say, and doubting Thomas is just like a guy who's like, no, nah, wait a minute, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> like, like, because I remember that being the thing in the play where it's like he's resurrected. Uh, if I had had the wherewithal back then, being younger and nervous in, a f- in front of a lot of people I don't know, because it's my cousin's church, yeah, I'd have loved to have played it. An I'd, have lo- I'd have loved to have played it off, like just walking around going, "No, his body was stolen. That's like, <laughs> like he is not that. No, seeing is believing. I don't see nobody. <laughs> like I'd love to have played that off, like di- like differently. That would like fucking killed the mood. That would have been like comedy. Oh thing. my god! I just remembered the fucking name of the play. What? Nail scarred hands. Oh yeah, that's was the name. Really? Yeah. Okay. It had music and everything in it too. Yeah, there's there's probably. probably and, jo- and Joseph was just like another another. I disciple. went from being just a disciple to being like a speaking role to having a line to being doubting Thomas. Like as time went on, oh, yeah. because <laughs> apparently like. I don't know. There wasn't a lot of volunteers from the actual church itself and to be in would, the play. People would, people would like be, be fla- there flaky. and then like people would be out. very flaky. They were having trouble rounding up like interested individuals. Yeah, that's kind of weird because it seems like there is a lot of people interested in theater around here. Or at least this is like on the fucking edge of like another county though. Oh wow! Like nearby, it took us a drive to fucking get there. Wow. Yeah, I can't remember where it even. You couldn't. You're like, take me there. I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah, I drove there multiple times. And I can't even fucking do that. Well, anyway, wow, that's actually just, yeah. That's wow. Yeah. I, th- I I don't know if we say too many of the me- like the, the inside jokes that we collectively have. You know, like the ones that we j- mm-hmm. said on the first podcast are ones we still say when you have a backlog of a hundred yeah like we could go through some of our old ones though. sure if you remember go some of them right off the top of your head I just remember like from Seth and Casey's college days when they would go head hard balls from that one dude that they met and that, that, that was a little bit of a thing we said oh that hippie was. dude yeah where it's like head hard balls man head hard balls yeah oh I remember that now <laughs> Oh, uh, there was the whole fucking safety game. Oh. Yeah, safety. For farting? And pantsless. <laughs> and doorknob. <laughs> well, that, that was part of the yeah, safety, safety game. Yeah, safety and doorknob oh, are the same game. Oh. Yeah, because yeah. you, you, when you fart, you have to say safety before someone else says doorknob, if or else they get to wail on you until you touch a doorknob. Mm. And, and then, then, like, <laughs> pantsless is like the same thing, only if someone calls elevator, you have to get to an elevator, or else someone gets to pummel you. 
That sounds like a horrible <laughs> game. Yeah, that's the one. But like, it was also just our default warning system as roommates. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, Chris is like, I'm gonna change into like, I gotta change pantsless, and I'm like, well, I'm just gonna keep looking at my computer screen and not look up for any reasons. <laughs> but then there's a small voice in your head that's like, I want to turn around now. <laughs> there was the one time I got you with it. Remember the one time with pantsless, <laughs> but like the way our room was set up in freshman year, you were closest to the door. So <laughs> he drops his shorts about to change into like pajamas or something or change into jeans or whatever and I just I look at him and go elevator and, he, oh. and he, you gave me that look that's like fucking really I forgot and then like you just like you gave me that one look and there was that like classic hesitation and then you fucking pulled your shorts up <laughs> held it at the front opened the door hauled ass down the hall through that last fucking door with my slamming into it and fucking like I heard a smack <laughs> where you would hit the elevator and then you slowly walked back and like back down the hall and you just looked at me and like still holding your pants and gave me that shrug and I was like alright good on you <laughs> I, be, was, I did it it was it was awesome cause he was like that moment at station and then he just took off like you're not gonna give me fucker oh man I just thought of two of them what one fuck that <laughs> nice. That's one. Nice. Paul, that's yeah. Paul's. That's can't, fine. That's I can't take credit for Paul's that. That's Paul's. Shit. Every time something he didn't, we didn't want to do, he didn't want to do, or even just for anything, he'd be like, "Fuck that." Yeah. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. And uh, fucking um, what is it? Uh, Paul, there's actually there's a few of the things he used to say. Paul's coming. Paul. <laughs> Paul's coming. <laughs> just the footage of like the black and white of people running in terror. <laughs> what? We just we wanted to film something. <laughs> With Justin throwing over, like, you see, like, a hill, and you see Paul starting to crest that hill faintly in the background. Justin sees it, throws his window opening, and screams, Paul's coming! And then, like, <laughs> we just intercut <laughs> footage of just, like, black and white of, like, crowds running in fear. And then, like, cut back to Paul just slowly cresting the hill, like, just walking normally. Nice. But what were some of the other ones? <sighs> Let's go fly a kite is not actually, like... Uh, inside joke, but it is. It's he would do that. Yeah, because Paul would like get. We'd be in the van. We'd help Paul clear out his van, and he we would drive to Walmart, like Walmart or something to like pick up like water. I'd restock on water. Chris would restock on like all the Mountain Dews for like fifty people, but yep. only himself because <laughs> he drink a lot of Mountain Dew. Yep. And we're sitting there in the in the van, and there's plenty of space in the parking lot. And Paul's just like, "Let's go." Fly a kite. Start <laughs> swerving the car <laughs> like, to the beat to, to the nice. song. Nice. Like and that, not like like little, but like let's full swerve. Oh. Only turn the other way when he says go. Wow. There's actually one uh, time I like actually met a relative of his, like an aunt or something. What? It was me and him. She and looked her, just like him. And we went no. And we, went, like to, we, went, to, we <laughs> went to Bojangles for lunch. I remember that trip to Bojangles because I was given a chicken sandwich that had like the mayonnaise for three sandwiches on it. <laughs> I was like, delicious. Fuck this place. <laughs> <laughs> Should have just gotten chicken like a normal fucker. Oh well. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of other inside jokes from um from college that we don't do it that we uh that we don't say as much. Yeah. Because we're not there anymore. Yeah. Like um. After I saw Grandma's boy, just all the time hanging out with, like, Zach or whatever. Anytime we were hanging out with, like, Adam and Zach or whatever, it's like, you're a hooker! Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I remember Zach. you guys saying you're that shit. You're a hooker. This is hilarious. Or there was the whole fucking shit with Ziggity Zach. Ziggity! Yeah. Ziggity. Yeah. Ziggity. yeah. Fisty! Yeah. God. <laughs> and tell, uh, I love that fucking, I you love... Can't get the fucking... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that came later, though. Because he would Because, get... like, he could, like... Like frustrated, and Claudia's like, "You need to calm down." And his voice would get so much higher as he got frustrated, but and he would catch himself. So then he would stop. So it would go to the point where it's like, "I can't. I just I can't get the fucking." Oh. And he calmed himself <laughs> down. But my favorite one is like, I think I came up with the fisty story, but the whole thing was like we uh, gave him the because we called we called him Ziggity Zack. I'm not sure how that started, to be honest. No, we just called him Ziggy. I mean, he had green hair for a semester. <laughs> he did have green hair for a semester, <laughs> but um. But it was cool though. But then we like we would catch people that didn't know who he was, and be just like, oh yeah, that's our friend. Uh, that's our friend Fisty, and it's like his name's Fisty. He's like, yeah, but not for the uh, the, not the, just just the, Chris. You would just do this. You would just do this. I remember you had to explain it to Claudia. I remember her 
reaction vaguely. Yeah. She was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, uh, no, his uh, name is Fisty, but not for the uh, reason you're thinking. It's because he enjoys fisting people and he likes to be fisted. <laughs> It's awful. And just like it would hang in the air for a second, and then the reactions would start, and it just, it just be nice. Yeah, yeah. You 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 enjoyed yourself at any rate. I did indeed. I was gonna say Ziggy Zach's a nice guy though. Yeah. I mean, he recently won some kind of. I talked to him like a couple weeks ago. He recently like got back something where he got accepted to some kind of like special internment kind of program thing, and it was like a really big thing he was hinging on or whatever he was waiting for so it's like he gets to quit his shitty job nice. and then go do that shit and I was like fuck yeah good man. shit man more yeah. power to you brother yeah it was it's it cool I don't get to talk with all the people in Greensboro as much as I'd like it's okay we got us <laughs> yeah don't give me that look what that fucking look of sheer and utter disappointment hey no Yes, you are. You're still doing it. <laughs> and now you're doing this not... mocking tone, like, oh, yeah, I got you guys. <laughs> I'm going to slap you guys. And now you're threatening physical violence? I'm threatening physical violence. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm Bill Cosby. <laughs> no, you back away from Aaron. Aaron, it's okay. Oh. No, no, I be Aaron things, all the time. Things are very dangerous here. Hello, police. Yeah. I think Justin killed a man. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call the police. I'll tell them I declared a bomb threat on myself. That's what one. What do they do? Oh, yeah. I, that's, <laughs> that's one, and you fucking came up with that shit. Yeah. What? Me declaring a bomb threat on the school. I mean, that's not really like a thing I did, but like you're like the fuck. <laughs> yeah, there would be, there would be. I cool. just remember you guys singing bombs and chem- chemicals. Bombs, like a... and chemicals. <gasps> bombs and chemicals. Yes. Bombs, bombs and chemicals. Bombs and chemicals. I forgot all about bombs, bombs and chemicals. chemicals. I forgot all about. Where's that? What? That was in that? high school. Yeah. For Wait, some no, reason. No, no. It started. Okay. It started because, like, there would be times where I would see Justin at his locker at the end of the day, and I'd walk past him if we weren't going to be hanging out that afternoon and I would, like, say something to him. And, like, uh, one day I said, like, and he would always fucking play along with it. But uh, I said one day, like, one afternoon about, like, man, you got the stuff to build the bomb? Or something along the... And this is before all that stupid bomb shit came about in the news and everybody got fucking scared of that shit. But, and then Justin was like, yeah, man, I got him. When you want to do it? Or just, like, played along with it. Yeah. Well, some motherfucker heard about it and went to Dr. Cox... Mr. Cox. <laughs> Thank you. Went for to Dr. Dr. Cox from Scrubs. Not the only one who says this. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Mr. Cox from Scrubs and told him <laughs> and was like legitimately afraid that we were making a bomb. That's right. And he fucking calls us in there after the fact and was like, look, okay, I know you both. I know you're not going to do this. I know you were joking around, but you gotta stop. People hear things and they get scared, and if they hear like chemicals or bombs or anything like that, they come to me and I've gotta listen to them. And <laughs> if you guys could just like, you guys, uh, yeah, you guys aren't gonna stop joking, but just don't don't do it right in the middle of the hallway, just so I don't have to hear about this anymore. And then I was like, yeah, no problem. So then I told Justin about it. Or no, 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 you were there when he told us the whole thing. And yeah. so that became the joke <laughs> that we were, that like, so I think I was, um, I was Sets Bomb and Justin was Runs With Detonator. Yeah. And those were our Native American names. <laughs> and we would sing Bombs and Chemicals. <laughs> but then uh, Justin came. Just the most <laughs> politically correct possible. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, what, I... No, you're right. Fuck, I'm sorry, people. Like, no, I don't care. I, no, 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 it's fine. I've got to be politically I just correct. Think it's I've got to be um, politically correct. So, sets bomb and runs with detonator were our Indian names. There, <laughs> you happy? Those are our Indian names with the big feather headdresses and the oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is all that stuff? Perhaps they're your redskin names. <laughs> our reds, our redskin names, our uh, redskin savage names, <laughs> our in, our engine names. Oh, oh boy! Oh, dude, I just saw one of my engine homies. How <laughs> tall was he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was his name. What's up, tall was he? <laughs> but um, this is the worst. That's not the worst. <laughs> It, no, it's not the worst. You're, you're, I should be scared of the worst. No, you, yeah, should, you should be. No, you should be laughing and high fiving us. We're not like we're not ragging on black people, <laughs> or you, or you to to the greater extent. <laughs> yeah, we'd be. No, killed, we just but, have um, all those other podcasts for that. You know, one of the things that makes me laugh the most, and it's not really just like the line itself, 
but it's like the fact that I just like just, just fucking said it on this podcast was from one of the earlier ones where I was just like I'm I'm saying something to you and I'm just like man Aaron I hope you don't get none of your homies to drive by and ice this honky yeah. <laughs> I like that and like, like okay well that's good you're yeah. like I like that <laughs> you're my cool white friend I won't have that happen <laughs> <laughs> but just like listening to it while I was editing it, I was like, I started crying. I was like, did I really fucking say that? <laughs> but um, yeah. so so Justin came up with the whole thing that <laughs> if we could like we could come into school, and I he could like just have his backpack or have nothing, and I would kick the fucking door open with a shotgun, <laughs> blow someone away, blow someone else away. Everybody starts running, screaming from the classrooms. I start just blowing people away, just spinning shells left and right. A girl mid hallway stops, points at us, and just goes, "Oh my God, Justin Riccoboni declared a bomb threat." <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was the, that was the fucking joke. Yeah. Holy shit. Yep. That took some explaining. I forgot about. I forgot about. Because it had that whole fucking lead up, man. Yeah, it did. Man, you know, whenever you, when you really put it together, I have, like, just the perfect psychopathic background. In high school, he declared a bomb threat. In seventh grade, he was in Fight Club. <laughs> Club. Now you gotta explain that. God, like, what? That, the Fight Club was very anticlimactic because it was like a. Uh, you remember the really tall guy named Charles? Yes. It was him, and it was uh, Pablo Nunez, <laughs> and Bradley Creasy. <laughs> Fucking calling them out. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I mean, they're not listening to this. Yeah, that's true. And if they are, well, then you're famous. Hooray! Everyone knows you're in a Fight Club in seventh grade. <laughs> yeah, everybody and, knows you were in a Fight Club, butt chin. <laughs> Give him a dollar, he just squeezes his chin and goes... He wanted quarters, right? <laughs> but yeah, we were in a fight club, and it's like, we weren't the only ones. There's a guy, Jamal. I don't know his last name, actually. That's fine. Um, I, no, I, I, I honestly don't know Jamal's last name, but Jamal's there, and for whatever reason, he was just like... Okay, actually, it's like, let me practice this wrestling move on you. So it was just like, I got... Voluntarily beat up. <laughs> Actually, there was this one time where like Bradley was on one side and Jamal was on the other. I didn't jump far forward and forward for like this back slam where they flipped me over on like one of the mats and landed like on the top of my head and like, knocked out of me for a couple minutes. Oh, I probably shit, have man. like intense brain damage from that. And it'll probably oh, show that explains it'll so probably much. show up another ten years later, I'll just drop dead in the middle of a conversation. Holy crap. From like the tumor I never knew I had. <laughs> Fuck. It probably explains why like I backwards Every inch. I got dyslexia from that now. <laughs> that's oh, that's. Fine. I got choke slammed to got dys- dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like so I was how, in like these. Did, how I was did in it these, start. I don't know. I was in these mock wrestling matches or whatever. Like Jamal would like run in and assist me or whatever. It was, like epic betrayals and wolf pack shit. <laughs> I don't know. God. <laughs> I think it, I, I don't know. I guess something. I guess we were all kind of enduring. In our own right. Christ, um, man, you know. had so much street cred. <laughs> yeah, so much, right? I'm like fucking, I'm Heisenberg or some shit. You were, I'm, you were, I'm, you're, the, I'm the Hindenburg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went from really cool to a natural disaster. Like, like, like. Oh, okay, so Aaron, what'd you do in middle school? What did I do in middle yeah. school? Not being fighting. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking. Like, on a computer? <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> you realize that's the, the first memory just, that comes to me. <laughs> it's just, all I see is you, you, going... <laughs> like <laughs> on the keyboard. <laughs> Holy shit! Why did you I throw nev- up on the computer? I never knew this. <laughs> this is, thank you, podcast. You're teaching yes. me about my friends. <laughs> so why'd you why'd you fucking uh, why'd you on purpose vomit all over this computer? <laughs> Was it for vengeance or for vengeance? <laughs> oh, I get it. You just did it like I like Windows better. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get out of class. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers down the throat and everything. A man so desperate. <laughs> no, <laughs> what it turned out to be was that I was just like I had an ear infection, and I was on this medicine that just was like really, really powerful, and oh. I didn't know how powerful it was. Was oh, it oh, Epicac? Wow. <laughs> no, but it was just like what? I had like, and I had like this stupid like you know Yo Play yogurt or whatever the hell that you know that you know that that kids yogurt that has the trick rabbit on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tricks yogurt. Tricks, tricks yogurt. Derp. But yes. <laughs> That, that kind of stuff, and it was like twenty minutes before the like this end of the day, and I was in this class, and I was like, 
I feel awful. I'll probably get go home and like be able to throw up then. And I was just waiting it out, and waiting it out, and waiting it out, and waiting. And then I was like, nope, this is coming to the And then just all over that computer keyboard. <laughs> the best part of waking up is Epicacke. <laughs> Wait, what do you, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> like, you're like, I'm going to wait this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, in middle school, Aaron threw up on a keyboard. Justin was in a fight club. And I used to wear sweatshirts with the sleeves pushed up all the way. Because I really can't think of anything else in middle school because I try to block that stuff out. It must have been something really bad. <laughs> We're in newspaper class in middle school. I can't think of any jokes that came out of that, though. I took the shit out of Paul. Different Paul from other people. Uh, yeah, does not, not, not hippie Paul, but like we went to school with Paul. We went to school with that Paul, but no, a, a Paul from middle school. Yeah, there you go. A Paul from our middle school years that Chris used to joke the shit out of because he was dumb. If I remember, if I recall correctly, okay, the, he was dumb. I was yeah. trying to think of a nice way to put it. It's like he was slightly slower than most folks, but that just sounds meaner somehow in a more subtle way. Oh, I, ch- oh, like I choked him and lifted him off off the ground that one day. Yeah, yeah, that coming though. Yeah, I don't know. It's classic. I don't know. He wasn't like he was an asshole. He wasn't an asshole though. Or he wa- he wasn't an asshole. He was he was. I mean, he was a friendly guy. I mean, I've actually talked. Guy, yeah. I've actually talked to him recently. Really? Yeah. Whoa. He's 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 got a legit job. Oh, good. Like he he um he drives a uh, a delivery truck for like a bread company oh, wow. at the fucking Outer Banks. Oh wow. He's got fucking beachfront property. Whoa. That he lives in. And that's, like, pretty much all he does. He'll get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, deliver bread until, like, 8. Huh. Fucking go home, spend the rest of his day on the beach. He works from, like, what, 4 or four to 8 in the morning? Or something like that? That's when you have to get all the deliveries done, But, by. like, that's not bad at all. That. Sometimes he has to get there earlier. Sometimes he works later. Wow. But it's he just does bread deliveries for grocery stores, and they get their shit, like, in the morning. Yeah. He told me flat out he has never worked past 11. Wow. And I want that guy's job. And, like, he's, he, and he told, like, he's kind of a burnout now, but, like, not so much of a burnout that you can't actually have a conversation with him. I'll say, he was always a little bit of a burnout, yeah. though. Yeah. But, uh, like, he, he actually told me there was, um... There was the uh, the uh, the three B's that made every single one of his days, and it was um, it was beach, bruise, and blunts. Huh. So pretty much like he'd get off work, he'd go relax at the beach, maybe light one up, maybe not, depended on the day. But other than that, he would like he'd go out and surf, or just fucking sit on the beach, or have people over for a few beers and watch TV. Or nice. sit out on the beach. Nice. And that's all he does. Wow. And he, like, he is fucking loving the shit out of his life. I bet. But if, like, he, if he's got a job that makes it... Because he, did, he didn't really come from much, too. So if he's got that job, like, just working really early mornings, makes enough to actually have fucking beachfront property. Yeah. Even if it's, a, like, a smaller cottage, that's still fucking right on the beach. That, yeah. And he's able to just, like, spend his days however the fuck he wants to. That's legit as fuck. Yeah, it is. Gotta go to bed by like nine, but you know, you get up at four in the morning, that's right. Yeah, man, that's but still. Like, still. That's good stuff. Fuck. So, we got any more inside jokes? Because this is like derailed heavily into just reminiscing. <laughs> Remin- talking about people. Reminiscing and talking about weird past shit and jokes from those things. Dude, I've been inside the middle school. How is that? The library? Please tell me it's like still full of books. That'd be hilarious. What? No, it's not full of books. Not full of nothing. All the uh, all like the like the librarian desk is gone. All the bookshelves that were in the middle of the room are gone. The ones around the wall are still left. The little like upper balk like the upper platform area that was on the right as you walked in. That little like glassed in section is gone. It's got like nothing but um speed bags. And lay down weight bars 
all over the uh, the ground level are like uh, regular sets of weights, and that like the stairs on the left hand side that went up to that huge overhang place, all the glass and all the um, card catalog card catalogs are gone, replaced with fucking um, exercise bikes, and right in the middle of the damn library is a full scale professional boxing ring. Wow. Jeez. And the offices that are there are actually the offices of the guy that uh, runs a... It, who is a personal trainer that operates out of there. Huh. And that's his office for doing personal training for his clients. And for, uh, like, twice a year, he teaches, an, he teaches like, an intensive two-month boxing course. Wow. For, like, people that have never done anything before to get them in shape, get them confident in that, and lead them up to the point where they can actually go one-on-one with other people. That's pretty cool. And I was like, because I went out there and, like, I went out there with, uh, I think some of the some of the girls that I used to know when I did lighting stuff, because they were going to go out there because one of their moms knew the guy. But they were talking to him, and he, like, I was just talking to him about it, and it sounded like, he sounded like a pretty, like, legit dude who would be there to, like, to push you through it. Nice. Like, maybe not as nice as Doc Lewis, but, like, a little bit gruffer. Doc Lewis is the guy that trains Little Mac. Oh, huh. <laughs> that's, 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 the, that's the Aaron Bass guy. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Where Justin was like, why is he beating up Aaron Bass? <laughs> in this fucking victory animation. <laughs> but, uh, and he was like, yeah, we've had, uh, we've get, we get, like, a bunch of people, usually about a dozen. Uh, first day, I have them run laps, and... Uh, the last few times I've had classes, <laughs> three of the people have fucking thrown up. Ooh. Because he just, like, he just makes them run. Yeah, no. And that's, like, that's, like, the whole that's first intense. class. But, he, like, he said it's a two-month intensive course wow. to take you from zero to hero, essentially. Wow. It's cool. And I just joined that class. Yee. You can become Steve Fox. Yee. You can go back to your blonde hair and become Steve Fox. And then it's like, now I'll join another fight club and I'll really punch people. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll fist them. <laughs> it's punching. Is it? With your fist. Yeah. Technically fisting. <laughs> <laughs> but are we, Full circle. But do we know any other inside jokes for this installment? Really can't think of one. No! As soon as, as soon as we turn off this podcast, it'll be You're like, gonna be seven like more. oh man, that one, and that one, and that one, and because oh, yeah. that's what happened last time. Yeah. But, um, ah, man, I gotta think of a, I gotta think of a sign off. Either you have a sign off that you're willing to Maybe throw in. Maybe I don't know. I had one for something that I forgot what it was. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> It was probably for another podcast. I'm probably remembering something long ago. Okay, you know it's fine. I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta, I gotta sign off, and it'll be a throwback. So, um, thanks for joining us, folks, for another uh, installment of the Ordinary Men Who Fight Like Heroes podcast. As always, thanks for uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging in there with us, and thanks for listening to our ramblings and bullshit that uh, really don't go much farther than just the three of us. But um, remember. Na 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 na